Hey everyone, Pat from Aeroflow Performance here and today I'm going to tell you about the Aeroflow Performance Manual Piston Ring Filer. So whether it's a home garage uh, or a specialised workshop, if you're building an engine you're going to come to a point where you've got to set the piston ring end gap uh, and Basically, you'll need a machine to do that generally, um, or uh, we've got this handy little manual piston ring filer uh, that makes setting piston ring gap quick, easy, and simple. I'm gonna show you in a quick guide how ours works. It's quite simple, it's easy to set up, and you'll get the result you need in no time. So step one is to mount the piston ring filer to a suitable workbench uh, using either a G-clamp or a vise or some other such method. It does come with a mounting bracket on there, so we recommend you use that. Otherwise, you can fabricate something or whatever you need to make it suitable for your application. So step two is to insert the turning handle into the filer and then basically set it with the set screw so that that's operational and ready to go. So step three is to take your piston ring, place it in the in the filer against the two end stops and then lightly squeeze the two ends square against the cutting wheel. A light even pressure is recommended so that you don't over grind the ring and end up with too much piston ring gap. So once you've got the piston ring in place you can see that the instruction on the filer itself is suggesting that the wheel should turn towards you or towards the inside of the piston ring when you're looking down on it. So basically apply your pressure, make sure that the ring's square, and then rotate the handle, in this case, back towards yourself. You'll adjust the, uh, adjust the end gap, then you can check, and then refile again if required. It's important to note that this disc is a 120 grit cutting disc, so it does cut fairly quickly, especially if you've got a, uh, a, a lighter duty piston ring. Um, so make sure that you don't go too crazy, don't use a drill in the end of the handle or something like that to speed the process up because there's a good chance that you will overshoot your mark uh, and you'll be out of a piston ring. So once you've done that, take the piston ring off, check the spacing in your engine block, um, you're in the cylinder, make sure that the gap is where it needs to be and then you can move on to the next one. It's as simple as that. All right guys, so now you know how simple and easy the Aeroflow Performance Manual Piston Ring Filer is to use. You can check it out at your local distributor, quality retail outlet, or jump online at aeroflowperformance.com.